All right, what's going on, you guys? Check it out. So I got the electronics in the cloud buster. I'm going to take it for a test drive in a minute. I'll just go over what I did. So let me pop the body off real quick. So right here, if you take a look, batteries fit perfect. They're two shorty packs. They're 4300 2S's, 130C. I got two speed controls. These are hobby wings. And everything fit perfect. At first, I was going to make up a fancy bracket to mount the batteries. But what I ended up doing, I just bent up a little tab right there. It's Velcro, and it works perfect. So it should go pretty well. It's, those are some pretty powerful little batteries. I still have to set up the suspension and steering. It's, I've never taken it for a ride, or actually I did. I took it for a quick ride in my backyard just to make sure everything worked. I'm not going to keep these suspension links because these are just cheap Ebays. And these shocks, these are HPI cheap shocks, like 10 bucks off eBay, brand new. So I'll upgrade them, but they were the right length. And they're not that bad. They're just plastic and they already leak. Uh, so other than that, everything's good. I wasn't able to hook up the sensor wires. I typically like to run censored in a cloud buster, but in a brushless motor, you have these three wires. If you're not running censored, you could put those in any combination as long as the motor spins the right direction. But if you're running it censored, you have to wire them a certain way. So typically what I do is because the cloud buster has two ESCs, I usually just reverse one of them. But for some reason with these hobby wings, I can't reverse them. I read the directions and everything, but it looks like you can't reverse them. So with this setup, I cannot run the sensors. It's kind of a bummer, but I'll just look for better ESCs later. Running sensors is really the way to go in a cloud buster. Also, when choosing motors, I always try to get ones with adjustable timing. And when I say adjustable timing, what I mean is you could just loosen up this end bell and turn it. So it, the more you advance the timing, the higher the RPM of the motor, but it can overheat. And also you lose a little bit of torque, but in a monster truck, having a little more front wheel speed just a little bit helps out a lot, helps it pull straight around corners and everything. So that's what's nice about having adjustable time in motors. If you're running brush motors though, you want to get zero time motors, so then you could just reverse the wire leads because the rear motor in a cloud bus is reverse rotation. So for now, I'm just going to run it without the body just because I still have to make the body mounts, which should be pretty easy. I'm just going to make a, a Lexan support from here to here with a couple pieces coming off and then put some body posts. But I'll do that once I get everything running and tuned. That way I don't risk flipping it over and it's, I know it's all good and controllable and everything. So all right, let's take it for a ride. But before I do, I'll, I'll show you a little bit of what I got done with the monster truck. So it's pretty cool it's sitting up a bit higher now. I charge the shocks with nitrogen just so I could measure up and order limit straps. I thought I ordered them before, but I guess I didn't. So I got to lift this thing up and remeasure to make sure I get the right length limit straps. Also, if you look inside the seats out, that's because I finished the seat frame and I sent it out for powder coat. So I should be getting that back anytime now. I also got this piece right here. This is the lock valve for the rear steer. So now I can finally get the rear steer hooked up and then take this thing for a nice good ride. I use this to charge the shocks. This is really cool right here. This is a charging manifold. So this clamps right on a tube right here. You could, tube, you could clamp it on the tube of the truck where I made this piece to slide into the receiver hitch the front and back of the truck. And it's got the four hoses coming off and a gauge. So you got one, two, three, four, and another one goes to the regulator. It just makes it so you can charge all four shocks in either the front or the rear at the same time. Or if you wanted to, you could shut these off. It just makes it way faster and it makes it a lot better, I think. So anyway, that's pretty cool. So now I'll take the cloud buster for a little spin. All right, so now let's just get these batteries plugged in. So even though there's two batteries and they're 2S, doesn't mean it's 4S because there's two motors, two speed controls. It's still only 2S. So I'll just get these plugged in and we'll take this thing for a spin.
Not bad. Rear steer is kind of tricky to use with this controller, so I'll probably look for something different, but so far, I'll probably make a little steering adjustments, some suspension tuning, and this thing should be good to go. Definitely a quick little cloud buster. So that's pretty cool. Got some dirt on the cloud buster tires. Pretty pleased. Didn't really take it for a long ride. It was more just like a test ride to make sure everything works so far, but definitely want to get a different controller with a better rear steer setup. So again, if anybody knows of a good controller for four wheel steering, please let me know. I always like these tactics before, but I don't know, maybe just now I don't for some reason, but having these little buttons right here, definitely hard to control the rear steer. It's like you got to think about it too much. So anyway, once I figure out a better controller and probably better ESC so I can hook up those sensors, this thing will really be performing good then. So I'll get the body mounted on. Look at that, everything fits like a glove in there, that's perfect. So I'll do some steering tuning, some suspension tuning. I wanna change these links, I was worried they were gonna break, but I didn't really bash it hard at all, so I'm sure if I did, those would probably break. So take care, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, hit the bell.